Sunderland are out of the relegation zone this morning after their first win on a Monday since April 2002. A Buck Crystal Palace manager Neil Warnock said he was bewildered by referee Phil Dowd following their 3-1 defeat. Stephen Fletcher scored twice for Gus Poyet's side with Jordi Gomez on the score sheet. A bad evening for Palace. They had Emilia Jedinek sent off and could have been awarded a penalty after just 25 seconds. We need a bit of luck at the minute. I think the only chance we've got of a penalty is somebody picking the ball up and throwing it at the referee. I think that's about the only chance we've got. It's so disappointing when you play so well. Uh, how we've lost that game, I'll never, ever know. I think everybody's saying that it was a penalty, so I'm not going to disagree. I didn't see him yet, but even my uh, analysts say that it's a penalty. So um, we're rather luck. We didn't have many this year, uh, I have to be honest. To reports today that Steven Gerrard could be left out of the Liverpool team to play Real Madrid in the Champions League tonight. Manager Brendan Rodgers says he's spoken to his captain about what games are a priority for him to play in. If left out, it could mean a start for Jordan Henderson, who insists Gerrard is still held in high regard. He's our captain, he's our leader um, and a great role model to a lot of the younger lads as well. So he's a massive player for us and... Hopefully he's, uh, he's a very big player for us for many years to come. Along with Cristiano Ronaldo, Liverpool must contain the world's most expensive player. Gareth Bale is available again after missing Madrid's last five games with a muscle problem. Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger has warned his team they must win their group to avoid another tough draw in the next round. Arsenal are currently second, three points behind Borussia Dortmund. They play Anderlecht this evening. Newcastle midfielder Jonas Gutierrez has won his battle against testicular cancer. The 31-year-old announced in September he was undergoing chemotherapy in Argentina. But last night he posted a message on Twitter to thank everyone who supported him in his battle and that he'd been given the all clear. Football anti-racism group Kick It Out has made a complaint to the Metropolitan Police over alleged racist tweets sent to Yaya Toure. The city midfielder reopened his Twitter account on Monday after the derby win over United. But Kick It Out say the midfielder has received two racist tweets since then. Germany's protectionist has won the Melbourne Cup, the contest that is known as the race that stops a nation. The horse, ridden by English jockey Ryan Moore, beat British challenge Red Caddo by two lengths in the two-mile race. It's the third European success in the last five years in Australia's most famous race. However, it was confirmed that pre-race favourite Admir Rakti had died. The horse collapsed after finishing last and died shortly after. Handicapped. Design.